Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here's another video with atomic structure and electron configurations. Number four. Bam! So, scientific contributors to atomic structure. There are many heroes in the scientific fields on atomic structure, and some of these heroes are not actually um, noted for their importance in atomic structure, so I just wanted to note uh, three more here today. Okay, William Rontgen, a, if I'm saying that correctly, a physicist that noted that cathode rays, yes, the same ones that Thomson used, caused glass and metals to emit energetic radiation, which penetrated matter. These rays were not deflected by a magnet, unlike Thomson's electron, and therefore did not contain charged particles. Rontgen called these unknown rays X-rays. Antoine Bacquerel, a physicist, discovered that uranium exposed photographic plates with highly energetic particles that were not deflected by a magnet, i.e. they were not um, charged particles either, but, dif but differed from X-rays because they spontaneously came from uranium, actually an ore of uranium. Here is Rontgen and here is Bacquerel. Okay? Another scientist that is extremely important to the basics of atomic structure was Marie Curie. She's a physicist, and she is one of the few individuals that has actually have had two Nobel Prizes, one in physics and one in chemistry. Okay? She was a student of Bacquerel, and so she suggested that the term radioactivity be used to describe the spontaneous emission of particles, that is, radiation. Um, there are three different types of radioactive decay, which we're going to be discussing later, but I'm just going to note them here for you. Those are alpha particles, which are positively charged because they are a helium nuclei. Those are beta particles, and these are negatively charged, and these are effectively electrons. And then there are gamma particles, which don't have any charge and no mass. And this is a beautiful picture of Marie Curie. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all that. I am the crazy hat chemist, and... I'm wearing a chicken on my head. Why am I wearing a chicken on my head? Because my wife loves chickens, and she calls all of her students chickens. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch the rest of my videos, and have a great day. Don't be a chicken.